Hello and welcome back to Sousa Place. It's time to play GeoGuessr again. And it, as usual, I will continue doing five minute challenges unless someone has a better idea. This uh, seed will be in the video description below. And paste it over here so I remember it. And start the challenge. Now, we haven't done very well recently so I'm going to try to be on the top of my game today so we're gonna start by going west this looks like northern hemisphere it's uh, green grass everywhere I don't really see farmland but there's uh, perhaps animal pens that are used for keeping domesticated animals here or maybe it's just so they don't run out to, onto this road it's a small road no hills or mountains anywhere nearby don't know what this area is let's not dwell on it we only have five minutes there was a flag of some sort nah it's probably just a wind marker why would they need that okay we have some buildings in the far off good camera but um, perhaps we're in North America this could be perhaps I don't know France maybe somewhere where there's not a lot of mountains so I would, if I would have to be forced to guess right now I would probably guess somewhere in this side of North America where there's less mountains alright well not really rough surface well that's English at least rough surface drive alright that doesn't really matter to us but it's English at least so North America looks like a good guess still what does this say there's a bus stop in a hundred meters meters you say all right maybe we're not in, uh, in the US then because they use yards and that stuff let's look at the bus stop school bus well, there must be some buildings or homes nearby then if there's school children here all right here's a car it's driving on the right side of the no it's driving on the left side of the road all right so are we in are we in England this doesn't look like a car they would use in Britain It could be in, perhaps in Ireland or is this is this Australia the greener part of Australia floodway well let's move the marker I'm gonna put it perhaps near Perth somewhere around here maybe all right I would really like something better to go on because I don't even know which part of the world this is anymore. I thought the trees looked like the northern hemisphere. They don't really look like Australian trees. And it's there's no red clay. But again, there's nothing really. Maybe I should go with Ireland instead. So still a minute. Let's see if we can find any civilization some houses maybe even another car would help there was a a sign perhaps that's the only thing we will see here back up back up there maple moor one kilometer maple moor a moor that's that's what things are called in Scotland aren't they but there's no highlands, there's like no hills or anything. 
Okay, I'm gonna put us in Ireland actually. Driving on the left, green fields, somewhere in a non populated area. I don't really know where people live, but somewhere in the middle because we don't see any coastline. Perhaps over here. That's that's okay, I guess. I'm gonna make that guess because we were not gonna find anything. Ah, it was Australia. But it was the east side of Australia. Boomy, Gondi Windy, Tuluna. Right, there's probably something called more here than Cropper Creek. Well, if we'd seen any of these names, they all sound very Australian, but the more thing didn't sound Australian, and that was the only thing we found, so... Zero points! Great, let's try and keep that up and set a new record with lowest score. It's not, a e it's not that easy to get zero points. You, you have to at least know where you are so you can guess on the other side of the world. Like so. Alright, here we see a mix of uh, birch trees and... Again, I should check up on if it's fir or fir or what's the other one? Pine. I think pine is like these trees over here, pine trees, and these is fir trees. But if you see both of them and birches at the same time, we have that in Scandinavia. Right? Many of our forests are like mixed forests, like this one, and also this road. Could be Scandinavian. Let's see. This looks like one of those Finnish road signs. Pick sto masenta. Yes, this looks like Finland. I'm gonna put us in Finland right here, and uh, we don't really need to know if they're driving on the right anymore because we have a good idea where we are. Now we need to find the big road, and then we have to find road signs. Which is usually not that difficult in Finland, at least if you're not very far f away from it. I'm driving along this road, I'm going south. South. Let's find a paved road. The road turns a little bit. Still going south though. So if we do find a precise location, we're going to guess a bit north of that. More houses. Alright. It's a little bit populated. But again, it would be nice to find a major road. I'm just gonna go as quickly as I can here because where in Finland we are it's not really easy to place unless you get some sort of geographical location to go by. Much of Finland looks like this with forests and small roads. There's uh, apparently there's a turn in 1.2 kilometers. So now we know it. about three clicks is a w one kilometer on the map. So uh, I must have gone like 10 kilometers, 20 kilometers down this road now. There's the another turn. Alright, just opening up. There's another small road. Okay, let's zoom in on Finland and place the marker a little bit more deliberately. Well, I'd say we might be in this region, not too far north, because there's uh, some uh, birch and other leafy trees. Oh, a river! Now, where would this... what river would this be? I don't think I saw a sign. No. Okay, we crossed the river, and we're going towards... oh, here we go, here we go. Come on, oh, we have plenty of time. Uh, Ulu 94. Now, Ulu is up here. 
So that's to the say northwest. And Utajervi uh, is in the same direction. Pulanka is in the other direction. So there's Pulanka in this direction on this road. Where where does that, does that put us? Somewhere between Ulu and Pulanka. Yeah, we could be on this road then. So let's see. But we we're driving south. So we would be north of this road. So where's Utayarvi? Should be towards Ulu. Ulu. Well, let's just do it. It's like one to four ratio. So one half somewhere around here on that road. And then Utayarvi would be somewhere around here on this road. Well, it doesn't quite fit. Okay, and then if we can find an off road to this one. Ah, I didn't have time. Well, we were pretty close. If I'd found the road over here in Jurkona, I think that's where I looked first. And then I would have gone north on this road. So the river we passed were, which was actually this sort of a string of lakes here. Jurkona. We were on the Olvas Järventi. Apologizes. Apolo apologies for my uh, pronunciation. So, uh, anyway, 4,941 points. That's uh, a lot better than the last one. Okay, now we are in a city area. Looks like no parking. But also Predzaka's Hotel Drahom Drahomira. Drahomir. Pragumir. All right, let's go this way. Can we get out on the on the main road here? Looks like a pretty big city. Villa Kira. Watch out. Uh, it's not the one from Death Note, I don't think. Let's go. Lekarna. Now, I would say we're in. We have a lot of accents and we saw the inflex over the letters on the graffiti. I'm not gonna go by graffiti because, well, you can really write anything there. It doesn't have to be the official languages or anything. This looks like sort of a school, maybe? This suburban area looks a bit like suburban areas do in Sweden. I think we're somewhere in Eastern Europe. Oops, maybe we should check this bus stop. I'll see what you're... Well, you want us to buy some sort of a... Becherovka? Okay, they have information in Russian, German, English and Czech. So... I would assume that that means we're in the Czech Republic, and the CZ down there also enforces that guess. So I'm gonna guess Czech Republic. Pretty large city. Let's put us in Prague for now. And let's then find some road signs. So it's Drevo Yubara. So that's the language of the Czech Republic. Alright, colorful houses. This could be a suburb to a large city. One of the inner suburbs. There's bus stops. But uh, what city are we in? Can't really tell. Let's see if we can find any road signs. If we can get to a main road. Pravna, Auto, Upravna. No city marks there. Um, how about this? Quelnove Centrum. Router Centrum. Quelnove. Is that a city? Can we find a Quelnove? That's pretty large. 
No. Schmutter, Nürnberg. This could mean like cultural centrum or something like that also. It's not an official road sign, doesn't look like. Billa. Prudenja. Okay, this looks like a major road. Okay, here we have a sign. A little bit back, please. Six to Praha. So we were in Prague. Six to the south to Praha. So we're a little bit north then. Maybe uh, up here? Somewhere? Let's see if we can find uh, more signs like these ones. Five kilometers. Karlovari. Karlovivari. Is that like a suburb up here? I thought I saw a Karlovi. I can't really find it. Praha is Prague, right? No, I'm not so sure. 20 seconds. It's a large road. Didn't see a road number. I don't think I will find one in the time that's left. Can we go on the other side? No. We're going this way. It's a bus. Our last chance. One second. Uh, travel plan. Okay, we were in the Karlovari and six kilometers to Praha. I guess that was something else then. I do, did see Karlovivari. It's pretty close to pra Prague. Maybe Praha means highway or something like that. Oh well, I saw Karlovivari. Yeah, I saw it on this zoom level. I thought I saw it uh, when I zoomed in and saw it somewhere around here. Alright. It's not as easy to remember every name you see on the map when you scroll through quickly looking for something else. Well, 4600 still okay. And uh, here's one more. We start on a bridge. Port Clyde, Cape Negro, Ingomar. Exit 28. We're on a bridge over a small river. Just gonna check what this sign over here says. It says Lower Clyde, Middle Clyde, Upper Clyde. So I'd say we're near Clyde, maybe? Okay, what country are we in? Is this Australia? Could be North America. Look at the trees. Well, we don't. No, the tree's good enough, I guess. Country foods and crafts. Okay, turn left after the bridge. We already crossed the bridge, but I don't want to go in there. Alright, I think I see the front of some vehicles. Seems like they're driving on the right side of the road. There's some sort of church over here. Over here. Quinn's Road. Oh, something. And this church looks... Is this a Baptist church? It's a graveyard next to it. Which is maybe it's just a chapel of sorts. Oh, thank you. What's this say? Petproject.ca Adopt a homeless pet. CA. Is that Canada? That's Canada. It has to be Canada. So, where in Canada would we be? Clyde, right. Clyde. Is there a Clyde easily found in Canada? Do we see any mountains or anything of that sort? No. Is there a Clyde over here? I'm going to zoom in and check the southern part of Canada because that's where most of the cities are. Clyde, Calgary, 
red deer, medicine hat, Saskatoon, Regina, R Regina, Hudson Bay, Brandon. Hey Brandon, you know Clyde? No? No answer. Dryden? Uppsala. We have that in Sweden as well. It's like this, I'd say the fifth biggest city or something like that in Sweden. Uh, spelled differently. Smooth Rock Falls. Everyone dies. Uh, Brampton. London. Detroit. I don't see Clyde. Maybe Clyde's not that large. I thought he was pretty large. He had like a southern section, a middle section. Okay, well then, let's find something else. Like... Like this, perhaps. Exit 28. Quinn Falls. Port Clyde. Port. So we have to be near... Uh, Ocean? Okay, there's Sydney as well, so... Is there a Port Clyde over here? No, wait. Yeah, Port Clyde. Port Clyde to the south. That means the water has to be to the south. It could be over here. Let's put the marker down. There's only a minute left. It could be on this side as well. Prince Rupert. On a river. Let's see if you can find a Port Clyde. Quickly. If you don't find one here, I'm going to leave the marker over there. On the other side. Gil I thought it said Gilligan's Island. I don't think they were up here. It would have been silly of them. They could have just swam to the... Up to near Vancouver. If it's not in Canada, I'm going to be a little bit annoyed. Port Clyde. Port Alice. Alice, do you know Clyde? Guess not. Alright, I can't find it on that coast, so it has to be like over here. Is it in New Brunswick? St. John? Well, it was over here. So, it was a bit further north. No, wait, that's where I guessed. Never mind. <laughs> it didn't make sense at all. It was in Nova Scotia. Port Clyde? Oh, there it is. Port Clyde. That wasn't very big. Oh well, should have gone for Nova Scotia. But at least we were on the right side of Canada. Uh, which happened to be the right side of Canada. I was looking in New Brunswick and I was almost there, but... Not quick enough, unfortunately. Well, 3,200 points. I think that's... One more left, okay. Alright, we're in a... A smaller street. The streets seem to be going north and south. The houses do look... It could be uh, like Florida or perhaps even Australia. The cars are parked on the left side. Facing... Left side, uh, so Australia maybe. Looks like the city is over this way. Looks like a pretty large city. Houses everywhere. Um, no real mountains. This is Gourley Street. Gourley Street. Let's go north. Gully Street. People walking. Give way. Where the Google car? No one else should look out for us. Yes, they're driving on the left. Let's do the same. Now, this could be Australia. It could be. Could be New Zealand. I'm uh, thinking about the palm trees. I don't think they have those in Britain. 
or in well dot nz that's helpful so we're in a new zealand city wild bean cafe all right now which city is this it's a pretty large one okay i see a blue big old sign no not a bad camera we're in new zealand there we go what does this say St. Clair, St. Kilda, Anderson's Bay, and secret area over here. Okay, St. Kilda, St. Clair. Let's see, what's the organize? Organi Anderson's Bay is forward. I'm gonna make a guess that's the, that that means it's on the coast. Um, and this is to the southeast, so the Water would be to the south east, so we would be on this coast. And what was it again? Anderson's Bay, St. Kilda, St. Clair. This might be part of a city. Are there any large cities on this side? We have Gisborne here. You have an Anderson's Bay. Not sure. I'm going to put the marker down over here. Southeast ish, or maybe here. No, no cities here. It looks like a pretty large city at least. Could perhaps be Napier. Do you have an Anderson's Bay over here? Maybe Port of Napier. Napier Airport. Well, that's one sort of a port. It's an airport. Ocean Beach. I'm not going to make a, an assumption if. Uh, about the size of the city. It looks big, but it doesn't have to be a super big city. Maybe we're in Wellington. Wellington Harbor, Fitzroy Bay. Fitzroy, do you know, know Anderson? Westpac Stadium. Lower Hut. Hut River. Alright, we could be in Christchurch. Christchurch. Do you have an Anderson's Bay? Littleton Harbor. Head of the bay, right? What's this called? Nothing. Timaru, maybe? Do you have an Anderson's Bay in here? Caroline Bay. Wamaru. I'm not sure, I thought I recognized that. No? Okay, maybe we're in Dunedin. Dunedin, dun, dun. Dunedin, dun, dun. Can't find any Anderson's Bay in here. All right, um, maybe Anderson's Bay is not uh, what I think it is. Should have gone further instead. Thought I had enough. I didn't have enough. It's a lot of cars. Chevron, quality class, time's up though. McDonald's! Let's stop at McDonald's and see how well we did. We were in Dunedin. It's this Anderson's Bay. No, this is Tomahawk Lagoon. Uh, this is Anderson's Bay. I looked at it, but I didn't see it. Oh well. Unfortunate. I was right here. I looked at the, this one and I was looking at this bay. But I didn't see Anderson's Bay here. It's only down here they decided to write it. Alright. I was uh, then doing the right thing there. I would have found it. Maybe I should look for something else. King Edward Street. Anderson's Bay Road. Well, that would have helped. We started on... What street? Burley Street and Revelson Street. And then we got out to Queen's Drive, I guess. And we found the McDonald's. McDonald's not on the map? 
Anderson's Bay Road. Huh. Okay. Well, still a good score. New Zealand is not that large. And uh, apart from the first one, where we got zero points, we still managed on the four other ones to get 1,700. So if the first one had been uh, okay, like uh, 3,000, we would have reached our goal of 20,000. So it was a good round, except for the first. Yes. It's always a shame when you miss the first one. You know you're going to have a bad round, regardless of your performance. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, then uh, make sure you come back and watch more when there's more episodes in the future. Well, it might already there might already be in new episodes by the time you watch it, but uh, anyway, for now it's in the future. I'm talking to you from the past. So anyway, uh, take care, and I hope to see you again soon.